Study today, cast out the bondwoman. In our previous reading, after questioning, Am I therefore become your enemy, because I tell you the truth? Paul expressed the intense concern and desire and the struggle as with pains of birth that the Galatians were returned to the rightly divided message of grace upon which he founded them, the preaching of Christ according to the mystery instead of prophecy, such that Christ be formed in you. With this as preface, we continue today. Tell me, ye that desire to be under the law, do ye not hear the law? For it is written, that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bondmaid, the other by a free woman. But he who was of the bondwoman was born after the flesh, but he of the free woman was by promise. Which things are an allegory, for these are the two covenants, the one from the Mount Sinai, which gendereth to bondage, which is Agar. For this Agar is Mount Sinai in Arabia, and answereth to Jerusalem which now is, and is in bondage with her children. But Jerusalem which is above is free, which is the mother of us all. For it is written, Rejoice, thou barren that bearest not, break forth and cry, thou that travailest not, for the desolate hath many more children than she which hath an husband. Now we, brethren, as Isaac was, are the children of promise. But as then he that was born after the flesh persecuted him that was born after the Spirit, even so it is now. Nevertheless, what saith the Scripture? Cast out the bondwoman and her son, for the son of the bondwoman shall not be heir with the son of the free woman. So then, brethren, we are not children of the bondwoman, but of the free. Galatians 4 verses 21 to 31 A long reading, today, but it all goes together and is not easily separated. We'll not do total justice to these verses but will address the allegory Paul shares and the conclusions thereof. Paul begins by asking the Galatians, Tell me, ye that desire to be under the law, do ye not hear the law? Galatians 4 verse 21. Remember, Paul had been taught the Mosaic Law at the feet of Gamaliel, the acclaimed master of Mosaic Law of the era, and was believed to have been trained to prepare him to eventually take Gamaliel's place. So, his understanding in all things pertaining to the Mosaic Law was unequaled in Israel and Judah. And here in this passage Paul is going to demonstrate this as he uses an allegory of Abraham's first two sons, Ishmael and Isaac to explain. Paul explains to those who might be desirous of living under the Mosaic law, for it is written, that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bondmaid, the other by a free woman. Which things are an allegory, for these are the two covenants, the one from the Mount Sinai, which gendereth to bondage which is Agar. Galatians 4 verses 22-24 here, Paul clearly shows that Abraham's attempted fulfillment of God's covenant via the child by the bondwoman, Hagar is allegorically equivalent to attempted living under the law, today. While the child with the free woman, Sarah, is allegorically equivalent and actually central to God's fulfillment of the unconditional, free, covenant of promise, grace. And further he says, Now we brethren, as Isaac was, are the children of promise. Galatians 4 verse 28. And what became of the bondwoman, in light of God's fulfilling his covenant of promise in Isaac? Paul answers quoting Genesis 21 verses 9 to 13, saying, Nevertheless what set the scripture? Cast out the bondwoman and her son, for the son of the bondwoman shall not be heir with the son of the free woman. In other words, Paul shows that the works of the flesh via Mosaic law obedience have no part in God's covenant of promise, and the freedom thereof, either prophetically, or per the revelation of the mystery. And Paul concludes the allegory remarking, So then, brethren, we are not children of the bondwoman, but of the free. Galatians 4 verse 31 Believer, cast out the bondwoman, kingdom gospel and its Mosaic law obedience, 
and live as, but of the free. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.